step into the world of the rich and famous turned infamous. In this eye-opening episode, we delve deep into the shocking scandals and legal woes of 18 once prominent actors who have found themselves on the wrong side of the law. From Hollywood blockbusters to acclaimed TV series, these stars had it all. Until they didn't. Now let's get started. Amy Locaine, born December 19, 1971, is an American actress known for her roles in various films and television shows. She gained recognition for her performance in John Waters' musical comedy Crybaby and portrayed Sandy Harling in the first season of the primetime soap opera Melrose Place. Locaine also appeared in films like School Ties, alongside Matt Damon and Brendan Fraser. However, Locaine's life took a tragic turn due to a fatal DUI car crash she was involved in on June 27, 2010, in Montgomery, New Jersey. The crash resulted in the death of 60-year-old Helen Seaman. Locaine was found to have a blood alcohol level nearly three times the legal limit at the time of the accident. She was subsequently convicted of vehicular homicide and assault by auto. Initially sentenced to three years in prison, Locaine's case underwent several legal proceedings. Her sentence was deemed lenient by an appeals court, and she was resentenced to five years behind bars in February 2019. However, further legal developments led to another resentencing, and in September 2020, Locaine was sentenced to eight years in New Jersey State Prison, with a requirement to serve more than six years before being eligible for parole. Skylar DeLeon, born John Julius Jacobson Jr., was an actor known for a small role in the television series Power Rangers. However, his life took a dark turn when he and his wife, along with accomplices, committed a heinous crime in 2004. They targeted a couple who were selling their yacht and, during a test run in Newport Beach Harbor, attacked the owners, forced them to sign over the boat, tied them up, and threw them into the sea. The bodies of the victims were never found. After years of investigation and one of the accomplices confessing to the crime, Skylar DeLeon and his wife were prosecuted. Skylar DeLeon was ultimately sentenced to death by lethal injection for his role in the murders. However, due to a moratorium on executions in California, he remains on death row. His wife received a life sentence without the possibility of parole. In prison, Skylar DeLeon changed his name to Skylar Preciosa DeLeon and underwent hormone therapy to transition to a more feminine appearance. Despite his fame and fortune as an actor, his life took a tragic turn, ending in a conviction for robbery and murder and a death sentence. Michael Andrew Jace, born July 13, 1962, is an American convicted murderer and former character actor. He gained recognition for his role as Los Angeles police officer Julian Lowe in the FX drama The Shield and also appeared in various other television shows and films. Jace's acting career began in 1992 with a role in an episode of Law and Order. He subsequently appeared in numerous TV shows and films, including Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, Clear and Present Danger, and Forrest Gump, where he portrayed the leader of the Black Panthers. His notable film roles include appearances in Strange Days, The Replacements, The Great White Hype, Boogie Nights, The Fan, and Tim Burton's remake of Planet of the Apes. However, Jace's career came to a halt when he was arrested for the murder of his wife, April Jace, at their home in Hyde Park, South Los Angeles. He confessed to the shooting, and on May 31, 2016, he was found guilty of second-degree murder. Jace was sentenced to 40 years to life in prison and is currently incarcerated at Corcoran State Prison. Kaylin Walker, famously known as KR, has emerged as a dynamic force in Hollywood, captivating audiences with his diverse talents in music, acting, and dance. At just 22 years old, this Los Angeles native has already left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Venturing into acting, KR made a notable debut in the film Kings, alongside heavyweights Halle Berry and Daniel Craig, which premiered at the Toronto Independent Film Festival. 
The movie delves into the complexities of a family amidst the backdrop of the 1992 Los Angeles riots, offering a poignant narrative that promises to captivate audiences upon its theatrical release. Walker's arrest in 2018 and subsequent trial shed light on the alleged series of sexual assaults on aspiring models whom he contacted through social media, promising them work opportunities. Kaylin Walker's case has been widely reported, and his sentencing to 50 years to life for multiple counts of sexual assault has drawn significant attention. The charges against him were serious, including forcible rape, assault to commit oral copulation, statutory rape, and rape by intoxication. Despite being acquitted on some counts, the severity of the charges led to a substantial sentence. William Hayden, born on June 24, 1965, was a multifaceted individual who gained recognition in various fields before his downfall. He initially rose to prominence as an American gunsmith and firearms expert, showcasing his skills and knowledge in the industry. His entrepreneurial spirit led him to establish his own gun shop, where he further honed his craft and catered to firearm enthusiasts. However, Hayden's most notable public exposure came through his involvement in the reality television series, Sons of Guns, which aired on the Discovery Channel. Despite his professional successes and public persona, Hayden's reputation suffered a severe blow when he became embroiled in legal troubles. In April and July 2017, he was convicted of serious sex crimes, casting a shadow over his previous accomplishments. The gravity of the offenses led to Hayden receiving three life sentences, underscoring the severity of the consequences for such egregious acts. As a result of his convictions, Hayden's life took a dramatic turn, and he is currently serving his sentences at the Louisiana State Penitentiary. Shannon Richardson, born on August 31, 1977, is an American actress whose career took a dark turn when she became involved in a high-profile criminal case. Despite having a relatively modest career in the entertainment industry, Richardson garnered significant attention due to her criminal activities. She appeared in minor roles in several television series, including The Vampire Diaries, Franklin and Bash, and The Walking Dead. While these roles may not have been major breakthroughs in her career, they nonetheless provided her with opportunities to work in the television industry. However, Richardson's life took a dramatic turn when she was implicated in a plot to send rice-and-laced letters to then-U.S. President Barack Obama and New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg. Her motive appeared to be an attempt to frame her husband. This shocking turn of events thrust Richardson into the national spotlight for all the wrong reasons. Following a legal investigation and trial, Richardson was convicted in July 2014 and subsequently sentenced to 18 years in prison for her involvement in the Rice and Mailings. Drew Drexel, a prominent figure in the world of American Ninja Warrior, faced serious allegations in 2020. He was accused of engaging in sexual misconduct with a minor, which led to his arrest in August of that year. Drexel, who had achieved significant success on the popular television show, was subsequently edited out of season 12 of American Ninja Warrior by NBC following the charges. The allegations against Drexel were severe. It was claimed that he had met a young fan at an event and subsequently invited her to his gym, where the alleged sexual encounter occurred. According to reports, the victim was 15 years old at the time, while Drexel was 26. The legal process unfolded over the following years. Drew is currently being held at the Federal Detention Center in Philadelphia, according to the Federal Bureau of Prisons Inmate Locator. The case garnered significant media attention, given Drexel's status as an American Ninja Warrior champion. However, it's crucial to approach such cases with sensitivity and to prioritize the well-being of any potential victims involved. Zach Avery, born on December 5, 1986, initially gained traction in the entertainment industry as an actor and producer. However, 
his reputation took a devastating turn when his fraudulent activities came to light. In 2021, the public learned of Horwitz's guilty plea in connection to a Ponzi scheme that defrauded investors of an astounding $227 million. This scheme undoubtedly rattled both investors and the broader financial community, highlighting the dangers and consequences of fraudulent financial activities. The severity of Horwitz's actions became even more apparent when he was handed a 20-year prison sentence in 2022. Such a sentence serves as a stark reminder of the legal repercussions awaiting individuals who engage in fraudulent behavior, particularly when it involves substantial sums of money and impacts numerous victims. The case of Zachary Joseph Horwitz, also known as Zach Avery, underscores the importance of accountability and transparency in financial dealings. It also serves as a cautionary tale about the potential consequences of greed and deception within the realm of finance and investment. Joseph Allen Maldonado Passage, widely known as Joe Exotic, has led a life marked by controversy, from his ownership of the Greater Wynwood Exotic Animal Park to his criminal convictions and colorful political endeavors. Born on March 5, 1963 in Garden City, Kansas, Exotic gained notoriety as a tiger breeder and the operator of his zoo in Oklahoma. His foray into politics included runs for president in 2016 as an independent candidate and for governor of Oklahoma in 2018 under the Libertarian Party banner. However, it was his entanglement in legal troubles that thrust him into the national spotlight. In 2019, Exotic was convicted on multiple federal charges, including animal abuse and two counts of murder for hire, specifically for allegedly attempting to hire someone to kill Carol Baskin, the CEO of Big Cat Rescue. He received a 22-year prison sentence for these crimes. Despite his imprisonment, Exotic remained politically active. In March 2023, he announced his candidacy for the Libertarian Party nomination for president in the 2024 election. However, the following month, he withdrew from the Libertarian primary and instead opted to pursue the Democratic Party nomination. Joseph Sun, born November 22, 1970, a South Korean-born American with a notorious history. Prior to his arrest, he had a career spanning mixed martial arts, kickboxing, professional wrestling, and acting. His most notable role was in the 1997 film Austin Powers' International Man of Mystery. However, Sun's life took a dark turn when he was convicted of a heinous crime. In 2011, he was sentenced to seven years to life in prison in California for his involvement in a 1990 gang rape during which torture was committed. Subsequently, he faced further legal consequences when he beat his cellmate, Michael Thomas Graham, to death. This act resulted in an additional 27-year sentence for voluntary manslaughter. As a result of these convictions, Joseph Youngman's son is currently serving a sentence of 34 years to life in prison. His case stands as a stark example of the cause of criminal behavior, even for those who have experienced some level of fame or success. Jennifer Shaw, born on October 4, 1973, is an American television personality known for her role in the reality television series The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. However, her career took a dramatic turn when she became embroiled in legal troubles. In March 2021, Shaw faced criminal charges related to conspiracy to commit money laundering and wire fraud. Despite initially pleading not guilty to both charges, she eventually changed her plea. The allegations against Shah involved her purported involvement in a telemarketing scheme that targeted vulnerable individuals, particularly the elderly, with promises of services such as website building and business coaching, but with the actual intention of defrauding them of large sums of money. Ultimately, Shah pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud. In January 2023, she received a sentence of six and a half years in prison, commencing her incarceration the following month. 
This marked a significant fall from grace for the once prominent reality TV star. The story of Toby Willis and his family's rise to fame as the Willis clan, followed by the shocking revelation of his arrest and subsequent sentencing, is indeed a tragic and distressing turn of events. Toby Willis, along with his wife Brenda and their 12 children, gained attention for their musical talents and wholesome family image. Their participation in America's Got Talent and the subsequent reality show on TLC, The Willis Family, further propelled them into the spotlight. However, the revelations of Toby Willis's arrest on charges of rape, particularly involving a young girl, have undoubtedly cast a dark shadow over their once celebrated family. The seriousness of the charges and the subsequent legal proceedings, resulting in significant prison time for Willis, underscore the gravity of the situation. The impact of such events extends beyond just the individual involved, affecting the entire family and their reputation. It serves as a stark reminder of the complexities and often unpredictable nature of human behavior, even within seemingly idyllic family units. Alison Mack, born on July 29, 1982 in Preetz, West Germany, seemed destined for stardom from an early age. The daughter of American parents Jonathan Mack, an opera singer, and Mindy Mack, a school teacher and bookkeeper, Allison's upbringing was steeped in the arts and education. Landing the role of Chloe Sullivan in the hit superhero series, Smallville catapulted her into the spotlight. From 2001 to 2011, Mack endeared herself to audiences worldwide with her portrayal of the intrepid and resourceful Chloe, earning a devoted fan base and critical acclaim along the way. Mack's role within NXIVM, particularly in a subgroup known as DOS, drew the attention of federal authorities. In 2018, she was arrested on charges of sex trafficking, sex trafficking conspiracy, and forced labor conspiracy. The charges sent shockwaves through both the entertainment industry and the public as the once beloved actress faced allegations of heinous crimes. In the ensuing legal battle, Mack pleaded guilty to racketeering and racketeering conspiracy charges. In 2021, she was sentenced to three years in prison, serving her time at the Federal Correctional Institution in Dublin, California. Her release in July 2023 marked the end of a tumultuous chapter in her life, but the repercussions of her actions continue to reverberate. Harvey Weinstein, born March 19, 1952, is an American former film producer known for co-founding Miramax and later The Weinstein Company. Weinstein and his brother, Bob Weinstein, played significant roles in producing numerous successful independent films, earning critical acclaim and awards. However, Weinstein's career took a dramatic turn in October 2017 when numerous sexual abuse allegations dating back to the late 1970s surfaced against him. More than 80 women, including prominent actresses, accused him of sexual harassment or rape. The revelations led to his dismissal from the Weinstein Company and expulsion from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. In May 2018, Weinstein was arrested and charged with rape in New York. Subsequently, in February 2020, he was found guilty of two of the five felony counts he faced. Weinstein was sentenced to 23 years in prison and began serving his sentence at Wenda Correctional Facility. Ryan Grantham is a Canadian former actor born in 1998, best known for his roles as Rodney James in The Diary of a Wimpy Kid and Jeffrey Augustine in Riverdale. He began his acting career at a young age, making his debut in The Secret of the Nutcracker in 2007, where he portrayed the character Billy. Grantham's talent and dedication to acting led him to appear in various television shows and movies, including popular series like Supernatural and Becoming Redwood. However, in March 2020, tragic events unfolded as Ryan Grantham was involved in a severe incident. Reports allege that he fatally shot his 64-year-old mother, Barbara Waite, while she was playing the piano in their home. Following this, 
Grantham embarked on a disturbing plan, reportedly intending to harm Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. He allegedly had weapons and explosives in his possession, but instead of carrying out his plan, he turned himself into the authorities. September 23, 2022, Ryan Grantham pleaded guilty to charges of second-degree murder and was sentenced to life in prison. He will not be eligible for parole until 2036. This incident shocked the entertainment industry and the public, tarnishing Grantham's reputation and raising questions about mental health awareness and support within the community. A prominent film actress, Zara Fithian, known for her role in Doctor Strange alongside Benedict Cumberbatch and her husband Victor Mark, a martial arts instructor, have been convicted of appalling child sex offenses. The couple was found guilty of sexually abusing a 13-year-old girl, with Mark also separately abusing a 15-year-old girl. Nottingham Crown Court handed down sentences reflecting the severity of their crimes. Fithian, 37, received an eight-year prison term, while her 59-year-old husband was sentenced to 14 years. Despite their denials, a jury found them guilty, and they were sentenced at Nottingham Crown Court. Mark received four years for his individual offenses and an additional 10 years for his involvement in the abuse of the second victim alongside Fithian, who was known during the trial under her married name of Zara Mark. These sentences serve as a stern reminder of the justice system's determination to protect vulnerable individuals from exploitation and abuse. Joshua Duggar, born March 3, 1988, is an American convicted sex offender and former reality television personality. The eldest of Michelle and Jim Bob Duggar's 19 children, Duggar and his family gained fame as the focus of the TLC series, 19 Kids and Counting, spun off from a series of television specials. Duggar served as the executive director of FRC Action, a lobbying political action committee sponsored by the Family Research Council from June 2013 to May 2015. He resigned from the position after he was reported to have molested multiple underage girls, including four of his siblings, when he was aged between 12 and 16. These revelations led to the swift cancellation of 19 kids and counting. The consequent fallout was named one of the 10 big scandals of 2015 inches by USA Today and the Washington Post listed Duggar as one of the 15 most hated people on the internet for that year. On April 29, 2021, Duggar was arrested by U.S. Marshals on charges of receiving and possessing child pornography. He was found guilty on all charges. He was sentenced to more than 12 years in prison on May 25, 2022. Danny Masterson, born on March 13, 1976, is American actor known for his roles in several television shows and movies. He rose to prominence for his portrayal of Stephen Hyde in the popular sitcom That 70s Show. Masterson also appeared in other notable roles, including Milo Foster in Men at Work and Jameson Rooster Bennett in The Ranch. However, Masterson's career and personal life have been overshadowed by serious legal troubles. In May 2023, he was convicted of raping two women. Subsequently, in September 2023, he was sentenced to 30 years to life in prison. These convictions stemmed from a series of sexual assault allegations against him, which first surfaced in March 2017. It's worth noting that Masterson's affiliation with the Church of Scientology also became a significant aspect of the case. Several women accused him of sexual misconduct dating back to the early 2000s, and there were allegations that the Church of Scientology played a role in attempting to silence the victims and interfere with legal proceedings. These actions led to considerable delays in bringing Masterson to justice. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, stay safe and stay curious.